Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave is here, and I am cheap. Sure. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and I would like to introduce you to Warlocks. This is a work-in-progress title that is currently being developed by Polish developer One More Level. Warlocks is asking for your crowdfunding dollars via a Kickstarter, so you should check the description below for a link to that. Now, I would highly recommend, regardless of how you feel after checking out the gameplay of this video, that you head over to that Kickstarter and look at it because it is one of the most thorough and complete Kickstarters that I have ever seen. They've got a really good, compelling pitch video, they've got a playable demo, they've got a roadmap, they've got a ton of information, they've got a pie chart telling how they're going to spend the money. Oh, I love a pie chart telling how they're going to spend the money. In all seriousness, this is a Kickstarter that other folks should be mapping themselves after. Now, why it is that they are still struggling with seven days to go and they are only at about half of what they need to complete this Kickstarter is beyond me. I don't understand why they haven't gained any traction, but I've decided to throw my weight behind it, uh, my, my YouTube weight, which is unfortunately insignificant because if it was my real world weight, I could probably compel them over the Kickstarter finish line right now in this video but I am throwing my influence what little it is behind this because I want eyes on this. I think it deserves to have eyes on it. So let's jump in, let's play, let's show you what Warlocks is all about. There is a verse mode that I haven't touched because, you know, I have no friends. Multiplayer, I think, is going to be where this game absolutely shines, but I am only a single player, so I shall play single player. Now this is a side-scrolling platformer beat-em-up kind of game with magical powers. You are a warlock after all. So that's the basic gameplay, but there are so many things layered on top of it. And we'll talk about a lot of those as we go. The first thing we can probably talk about are the characters. The characters are modeled in some ways after MOBA style characters like Dota characters or League of Legends characters in that they have a set of moves. Those moves level up as you go and those moves build the theme of the character. So it's not like you just have a slash. You have interconnecting moves that in many cases work with one another in order to create powerful combos. So it's a really interesting approach and I really enjoy the design of the characters. Lots of interesting stuff here. As you can see, there are some fun characters. I have had a lot of fun with Anya, the Ice Mistress, but I think today we're going to play as Raynor, the Guardian. All shall perish. There is voice acting for every character. It is uh, mediocre to good. In, and some of them are a little iffy, but I think a lot of that might get polished as the game goes on. You saw the characters there. Uh, the two characters at the end, I believe, would be unlockable characters. There is a demo, like I said, on the Kickstarter page. Check that out. You are playing a scaled-down version of this if you play it. So this is basically just an expanded version of what you can play right now and test out via a web Unity player. So you're going to get this when you select a character. This tells you all about the character. You can see the synergies starting. With Lightning Dash, we can mark targets. And then with Lightning Strike, we can actually hit those targets, teleport to them, and strike them. So most of the characters have building up mechanics like this, mechanics that layer on top of one another. I'm currently using an Xbox 360 controller. I have found it to be... Uh, completely and totally workable. I enjoy it. I think it controls well and I like it quite a bit. The mouse and keyboard controls are completely adequate. Uh, well, mouse, uh, keyboard, not mouse. Uh, it's completely adequate and I've enjoyed it quite a bit. So this is it. You are going to be in a level constrained to a certain width of a level and you are going to have wave after wave of shadow creature spawn in and try to destroy you. And you need to defend yourself from these shadow creatures, and you do that by unleashing the power of your warlock. And in this case, Raynor has the ability to do all sorts of cool stuff. Like, for instance, as you saw, teleport uh, through people. There we go. And now we can actually pop over and hit every single guy that we just marked. It's a really nice ability. It helps a whole lot for taking out a lot of the mobs that uh, tend to... Wow, that is a really loud sound effect. A lot of the mobs that tend to clump up together, quite, quite effective. It does a little bit of damage, and uh, then it applies that, uh, that uh, mark to the characters. And we can then execute an attack onto the marked enemies. 
Now it does get a little hairy. You do have to be careful. As you saw, I got hit while I was spinning around and hitting all the different guys. I don't want to get hit. I don't want to take damage. That guy's going to try to do damage right there. Uh, mostly these guys, these sort of tall, uh, crazy shadow dreaded guys, uh, they're pretty simple. I mean, for the most part, I can keep these guys at bay with my force wave. And uh, yeah, I can pretty much just make it through that way. Uh, but you know, that's not going to work forever. So you can use some, you know, slightly cheesy tactics at the beginning, but uh, you are eventually going to have to do quite a bit more. So let's do quite a bit more. Little shield here. And that shield can then be made to explode. Very nice. That's a level. You can see up in the upper right hand corner, eight out of eight waves complete. That is stage one, one complete. Got a roadmap at the top there in the center of the screen. That's how many levels we need to go through. That will end with a boss fight. You can see a uh, bunch of text that's been on there for a while, probably annoying people that says, level up your skills using spacebar slash left trigger. Let's do that before we move on. Now I can choose which skill I wanna level up. Well, I tend to use the, uh, the dash ability quite a bit. So let's level up that dash ability. So you see we get one pip in that ability and uh, now we are a bit more powerful when we do that. I like that attack because it's a really good traversal attack in addition to obviously doing a lot of damage. So I haven't really talked about it too much yet, but the art on this on this game is just absolutely jaw-droppingly beautiful. They tell a really uh, interesting story on the artist in the Kickstarter in that he is actually a uh, an accomplished digital artist. So he does like digital paintings and whatnot, and he has translated his digital painting skills over to pixel art, and I think that it's ended up being a wonderful translation. So you can see how you can start to sort of chain things together with these guys. You can actually use Rainer's uh, jumping attack as a leaping attack for an escape. You can then also use it, uh, you can also then use his teleport attack as a means of escape as well. So it, it gets really interesting. Again, I've got to be careful about not taking damage whenever I do jump in there. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and shield. We'll jump in here, just kind of do a nice AOE with our shield. We are nearly dead. I am hoping that we might uh, actually get a Oop, that we might actually get a health potion, but so far, haven't seen one. So I'm, I'm playing the avoidance avoidance game at this point. Uh, let's see if we can do a little more damage here. That was nice. We got to level up, which gave us all that life back. So that is a great thing. We've got to be careful about charging into the little... Uh, the little bolts that the wasp guys shoot. But this is pretty much the game. You're going to add different enemies that are going to add uh, various levels of challenge. Enemies that will, uh, you know, reset some of your skills. You will see some of your tactics, your tried and true tactics, get bested by enemies that are eventually um, unleashed on you. Now, that was what I was waiting for. That is a piece of armor. Kind of just buying time until I got a piece of armor. And here is that uh, item treadmill, if you will. Uh, that is, here's the Diablo-esque part of this game. Uh, I got an, a piece of armor, 14, 14 armor on this chest piece. And uh, yeah, no, no special abilities, but you will get special abilities. You'll get items that are broken or I think cursed, different things like that. It's interesting. It's, there's a lot of, a lot of really deep stuff going on with the, uh, with the equipment and inventory. So uh, yeah, you'll get a chance to sell on occasion. A merchant will occasionally appear. There's a ton of stuff going on with this game, a ton of stuff. And it's all really well done and really well polished. And uh, I love it. I absolutely love it. You know, it's just challenging enough. One thing I will say is that uh, there isn't really a penalty for death in this version of the game, if if I die here, uh, which I inevitably will, because things are starting to get a little out of control, uh, when I die, if I die, uh, it's pretty much just uh, jump right back in. You know, start restart this level, restart the waves, and uh, just go go back about your business. Try again, basically, is is what what you get when you die. So we've got some items over here that I think will uh, be of a little bit of help. So let's uh, try to maybe, I really wanted to kill that wasp, but I can't seem to get my attacks to line up here. There we go. And uh, we're pretty much done with this level. So right now, all we need to do is survive. We'll just kind of kite this guy a little bit, pick up our armor, check out. Oh yeah, we got some more stuff. So we've got a broken bronze helmet. As you might imagine, a broken helmet is uh, less valuable than a not broken 
So we also got some greaves. So yeah, uh, broken bronze greaves. Adding to our jump height, you can see you're going to start to augment stats. You can get cooldown reductions on uh, headpieces. You can actually get effects, like additional uh, status effects, like your Z attack or your A attack with the A button on your controller uh, can add a slow. It's th there's the depth here is is it's amazing uh, for for what they have and what they've been doing. Uh, interesting story about the game that they do share on the Kickstarter is that this started out as a Risk of Rain uh, clone or just an experiment uh, by the uh, designer who just really liked Risk of, Risk of Rain and wanted to actually see what he could do in designing a game that felt and played like Risk of Rain. So you notice we just got a nice piece of armor there and uh, we wanna make sure to switch to that. We got the uh, Galarian armor, which is a lot more armor. So yeah, and it also, see how it doesn't have much of a cost associated with it because it was a drop. So, you know, we can switch this out and on the next level, we'll get a chance to sell that bronze armor. And now we are wearing the superior armor. Again, as you uh, might notice with other games that do a lot of loot stuff, you know, here we get a red indicator showing us that this would be a downgrade. So they're doing a lot of nice, smart stuff like that. I mean, again, I am going to run out of praise to heap upon this game before this game runs out of steam. You know, I, I, I could sit and play this all night. I've played through this. Uh, twice all the way to the end with different characters just to get a feel for it. I really enjoy it. Uh, just absolutely. The way that they vary things. And again, the promise of the multiplayer. It looks amazing. Multiple characters with multiple strategies stacking together. There is a support character. Uh, there is a, a shaman, shamaness, who is a support character. And her abilities interact so well with the other characters uh, that I am really, really anxious to see how she stacks up. I gotta remember to use my little uh, force wave here because it's extremely, extremely useful. You notice the knockback on it uh, as well as uh, the damage that it does, which is uh, useful. And you do need it. These flying guys can be a bit of a pain. Oop, okay, almost bit it there. That is what we want. I do tend to upgrade my uh, my dash because of the fact that I am dashing through enemies so frequently. Uh, there's one of those times where I dashed in when I probably shouldn't have. So uh, let's try to find some relative safety. Uh, not that there is any relative safety and do a quick upgrade. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade our... Let's upgrade our force wave because again, we're going to be using that, that force wave attack uh, quite a bit. Quite a bit. All right, so we're starting to stack up. This is the real challenge of this game. You start to stack guys up. The waves don't trigger uh, after you're done. The waves trigger on a timer. So you start to stack guys up and it starts to get real bad, real fast. And I am uh, a little bit outclassed right now. I did pick up a weapon, which is great. That will have auto equipped, which should help to augment. Oh, that level up was so timely, so timely. Perfect. I needed that so bad. All right, so let's use our shield here. We'll come into this big pack and just smash them all. And let's quickly warp in. And again, you know, we're starting to build a strategy with this guy. I mean, I'm sort of in a certain way learning to play with him. What are the effective attacks? What are the effective strategies? How do his abilities group together? How do I best use his abilities to survive? You know, right now, I'm probably just going to spam out a few of these waves because I noticed that they go through guys, they hit multiple guys, and I think that's a great thing, and I think that that's going to help me out. It's going to help me to survive, and that's exactly what I need right now. All right, so we just might make it through this level. Playing quite distracted right now. Normally, the second level, uh, not a lot of the second and third levels, not a whole lot of challenge for me. But uh, that is not the case right now, as I am definitely struggling as Rainer. Uh, my best runs have been with the uh, with the Ice Mistress, as I said, uh, and she's an she's an amazing character. The way that her attacks stack together, same thing for the Fire Kid Jake. Uh, the way that the stuff stacks together for him, it the, the synergies are are just so great. And Jake has the best attack of all. He does a uh, Michael Jackson dance, including a moonwalk, and as he does it. Uh, meteors rain down from the sky. I almost played him just because of that, uh, but ultimately decided not to. So let's shield ourselves and go in there because, yeah, we could take a huge chunk out of these guys. Almost got out of there unscathed. Oh, that was not... I, I got them all to shoot at the air and then I jumped into it. 
See, we're looking pretty good. We have a level up that I should have probably used a long time ago. Oh, let's go ahead and again, we're going to level up our A. We're going to level up our ability to dash because that dash is so great. And you can jump at the end of that dash, as you see there, which does become a strategy that I use quite a bit later on. All right, I need somebody to be marked, not you. There we go. Lots of marked guys, but I don't need it now. I needed it for an escape earlier. Uh, so you can see, I'm starting to get overwhelmed here. I'm definitely, I'm on, I'm on the twelfth, uh, you know, I'm on the twelfth uh, wave. So there's a lot of, uh, a lot of good stuff going on here. If I can survive, uh, I do have some power ups that will allow me to uh, gain a little bit of life. You notice in the uh, far left of my action bar, I have some potions. Those are on a timer but I am going to use those, try to restore some life now. I'm going to pick up these items and just see if we have any gems here. So we got a couple of daggers here giving us uh, some more damage, which is great. Nothing is going to beat our chest armor, so we're just going to hang back. Uh, bronze helmet definitely needs to be equipped. And let's check out our greaves. Uh, yeah, we have a definite winner here, low quality uh, as they are, but uh, low quality clearly better than broken. So there we go. So we outfitted ourselves a bit better on the left side. Of course, you can see uh, Darth Rainer. You can see our uh, stats changing as we uh, upgrade and downgrade stuff. So yeah, a lot of information to take in here. Just a lot of positives, a lot of great stuff going on here. Let's jump in here and take out about half of those guys. And let's finish this off with a teleport. There you go. Now let's check out our merchant, and then we're going to call it quits, guys, because I could play this all night if somebody doesn't stop me. We'll just go over to the merchant so you can get an idea kind of what we're dealing with here. This sort of rounds out the experience of the game. You've seen everything that the game has to offer at this point. You've seen the combat. You've seen the leveling up mechanics. You've seen how the abilities function and how you upgrade them. The synergies in combat. You kind of have an idea of how everything works. There's a ton of loot, as you can see. And uh, yeah, you can sell that loot in order to uh, prosper and profit. So we can take a look here at uh, what we've got going on. And if we want to, we can uh, buy from him. As you see, he's got quite a bit of stuff over here. We have 389 gold right now. So we could potentially end up with a bronze rod if we wanted or several of these other things. Does he have any nice special items? Let's see. Uh, yeah, high quality bronze boots. I don't think I can get to to uh, uh, 636 gold, but you can see movement speed plus 41. That could be a huge boon for us. Uh, if we felt a little slow. I don't actually feel particularly slow with this character. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, drop all this stuff into the sell bin. And let's uh, sell it all off. There we go. So we're up to 589. So we're not quite, quite going to touch uh, what we would need to get those uh, great boots. But yeah, there you go. I mean, that's it. That is uh, pretty much what you've got to offer here. What I want to do, though, is I do want to exit out and I want to show you at least one more character just very quickly so you can get an idea of the variety that exists. And I'm actually going to show you the shaman because I think she's a wonderful character. She's going to be one of those characters that I think is going to be essential to bring along in a group of three or four people. Uh, she is the most complicated character I would say that they have because she has two forms, essentially. You can see at the very bottom on why she has switch stance and she can switch between two different forms, one of which is healing focused and the other is damage focused. Here's the damage focused. It's pretty crazy. It is pretty crazy. And uh, she is just a great uh, counterpoint to Rainer that we just saw here. Her main thing that she does is uh, put down that and then if she fires through that, all of her abilities actually get bonuses. Now let's jump in here. and Oh, we killed something by just spamming our attacks out. Whoop. So you notice those white health bars. That means that they are impervious uh, when they first spawn in. So, you know, she has a decent attack, but it's not, not really doing too much. You know, you got to heal. That's awesome. It heals the group around you. But if you really want to get anything done as her, you need to shift forms. And once you shift forms, you can now see she goes all stealthy or stealthy looking, you know, looks like a nice, uh, uh, a nice rogue stance there. Quite a, uh, quite a nice intimidating stance. But uh, yeah, now she does uh, damage. She does poison damage. I believe it's poison damage. Uh, which attack is it? There we go. Yeah, so you kind of poison those guys. You can see they're going to start taking additional damage. You know, of course, I didn't really read through all the abilities 100%, but you can see this is a character that is completely different than the character that I just played. And that's the sort of stuff that I think that they, if they can keep that up, 
through all of the characters. There are three or four locked characters, I do believe. I think you're going to see a game that has a lot of legs, a game that's going to be a lot of fun for a lot of people. And I really, really look forward to seeing exactly what happens uh, as this game moves moves on. I think this game is far enough that I would hope that it would succeed, whether it's Kickstarter or not. But of course, that's up to the developer. It's up to funding. It's up to logistics. And it's up to uh, ultimately the, the people. Try not to die here, but inevitably I will die. So we'll shift back over. And uh, I really do, I really do like the uh, totem mechanic. If you had a bunch of guys stacked up shooting through that totem, it would be huge, just absolutely huge. But apart from that, she's a pretty weak character. She kind of needs somebody there to help her and to augment her. But I digress. I continue to uh, continue to talk when I probably shouldn't be. So you can see I'm actually getting, oh, stop talking, stop talking. I just, I love this game. I absolutely love it. It plays, you know, the controls are, are, are nice and tight. It plays well. It looks beautiful. It's intriguing. It, it makes me want to keep playing it. And that's why I can't stop talking about it right now. So I am going to have to force myself to just say goodbye. So let's go ahead and just get uh, absolutely destroyed by those guys all swinging in unison. And we will call it an evening here. No real penalty for death. I think I might have mentioned that before, uh, but who knows how that's going to be in the final game. Again, this is an early press demo and it's marked, it's marked as an alpha. So understand that uh, it is not feature complete and a lot of things might change. Head over to the Kickstarter page again in the description below. You will find that link and decide whether or not Warlocks is something that is for you. Thanks for bearing with me here as I gushed over this deserving game. I have been Big Dave and until next time, take it easy.